fantastic day if you're new to the channel my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is vehicle versions if you missed yesterday's video I flew all the way from California to Dubai I have always wanted to go to this place never had the opportunity and finally I can bring each and every one of you with me now I'm doing a multi-day rally called catch the camel and they have been kind enough to provide some awesome whips for us so I'm in this green LP580-2 with some questionable Performante stripes on it. We've got Stradman in a similar matching color to his Gallardo, although this is Matt LP580. Then we've also got 1320 video in a 650S Spider. And then of course my boy Paul Wallace in a 488 at some other hotel and we're not sure why he's there. So let's get him. Dubai this should be interesting I've heard in the city you don't mess around you have to follow the rules very intensely but outside of the city things can get a little more fun Look, this car has done almost as many miles as mine has 46,600 kilometers I think what's so impressive and fascinating to me is the scale of everything. They say everything's bigger than Texas, but the phrase definitely should be everything is bigger in Dubai. Right up ahead, I can see the Burj Khalifa, which I believe is the tallest building in the world. And it just looks absolutely insane in comparison to everything else. And yet, everything here is huge. All the hotels are luxurious. All the car dealers have the coolest exotic cars in them. It's, I know I'm overgeneralizing. Of course, it's not all like that. But seriously, for the first day and a half here, that's what it feels like. A couple things I've noticed about the driving rules. They really love speed bumps here. Look, we're going over one. But the good news is they're all prepped for supercars. The entry and exit don't actually scratch your bumper. So that, I'm totally fine with speed bumps like that. The US should learn from this. The Universal Sorority Starbucks Coffee, looking good. I'm now driving in a marina, and I've been told I'm supposed to park here for some reason. Okay, well hopefully this is giving you, and especially me, a little taste of how ridiculous Dubai is, because we showed up for the rally for all of five minutes, and all of a sudden, we're parking on a marina, on a Bulgari sign, with yachts in the background. This is just... I mean, honestly, we were parked over there and they told us to move and I thought, oh, maybe we're not supposed to be in the marina. But instead, he told us to move to the other side so that it was a prettier shot with yachts in the background instead of just the building. <laughs> Look at this Lotus. Look how incredible this place is, guys. This is where we are checking in. It's called the Bulgari Hotel and Resort. Apparently there's houses here too. Beautiful marina down here. And every single one of the cars is lining up along the harbor to get ready to go. Still no sign of Supercars of London though. Paul, where, where are you, man? There 
guys, Paul? Oh, thank God. I miss you. I miss you. What's up, buddy? How are you? Dude, good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. I missed you. I missed you too. Yeah. Your glasses are excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you see my other pair. Dude, thank you for inviting me to this, by the way. No I'm worries. on this because of him. I have no idea what to expect. I've been told a couple things uh, for what to expect at the racetrack, like yeah. some cars that are showing up that okay. I didn't realize were gonna be a thing. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, I can't wait to share them with you guys because it's gonna be a once in a lifetime opportunity. Check this out, guys. Somebody is taking a GT2 RS on the rally. Now the lead car is this GT3 RS next to it. I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to go over some of the differences between the two, not mechanically, but just visually, because of course they do look relatively similar. So this is a 991.1 GT3 RS. So it doesn't have some of the updates versus the brand new GT2 RS. So we've got bigger front intakes, all around, they're actually kind of more square. Now we've got the Naka ducks on the hood that the new generation 991.2 has. Carbon fiber side intakes, but pretty similar. Similar wheels, come around to the back. And the biggest difference is the GT3 RS has a dual exhaust in the center and the 2 RS has a massive split exhaust, one on each side. Woo! All right, so I don't know what is more savage, taking a 458 Speciale on a rally or this thing right here. Look at that, Bulgari Yacht Club drive. I think I wanna drive this actually, as opposed to the Huracan on the rally. It's got more space, it's got three wheels, so you know, weight reduction, or this. This is pretty damn cool. Good for this guy. And also, I noticed a Urus over there, a Urus would be a fantastic rally car. We've also got 1320 video over here. He's running away. Look at How's that. How's it going, beard. guys? Look at that freaking beard. I try. I, try. I know. I grew it myself. I, I, true, I tried two, and this is all I got. Well, I just I just stopped caring anymore. So. Yeah. Look at these two 812 super fast in matte red and this gorgeous yellow Urus. Look at the size of the front brakes on this thing. That is ludicrous. So I don't know whether to make fun of you or like cry with you or what over this car. Are you stoked about driving a Ferrari? Well, Paul just told me there's a subscriber here with a Bugatti. So I definitely gotta check that out. Oh, I see it. Check this thing out, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently this is the Dubai edition Bugatti Veyron. Look at that, exposed blue carbon, chrome everywhere. Ooh, I love that interior too. Well, there you go. I've been in Dubai for all of a couple hours. We've already seen a 918. This guy's a subscriber and has a Bugatti. I don't like Dubai. It's freaking awesome. Look at that Brabus 850. We've just been given the itinerary. We are about to go to the world's largest, longest, fastest zip line. Of course, it's in Dubai. And on the way, we've got one of the coolest driving roads in the world that we get to go, well, pretty fast on. Look at this. More and more cars just keep showing up. How gorgeous is this blue colored SV? Love it. See at the top of the zip line? Oh yeah, Let's baby. do it. See oh. the bottom. Okay, what the? Oh. <laughs> Look at that boat. That is one of the coolest looking boats I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, hopefully that clip gave you an idea of how ridiculous this lineup is. I didn't realize there was two 918 Spiders. There are so many Ferraris, Lamborghinis, McLarens, Porsches, the whole gamut. And now we're going to one of the best roads apparently in the world, let alone Dubai, and then to go zip lining. I am so pumped for today. super good job of actually sticking together. I really like that. A lot of times in big rallies when there's a couple hundred cars, you group up and uh, 
pairs of two or three or five or maximum ten cars, but for the most part, everyone's been sticking together. 918 coming up. Look at that. Ultimate rally vehicle up ahead, the Urus. Oh, that thing looks badass. Just had a good chat with the guy in the GT2 RS. Now it turns out I probably should have known this beforehand, but the symbol that this car club has for speeding radar camera is turning the hazards on. So I saw this 488 up ahead. I'm like, why has he got his hazards on? Well, because there was a speeding camera. I don't think I got hit, but essentially there's camera systems and you just try to make sure that you don't speed when you go through the camera systems. Obviously you shouldn't be speeding at all, but particularly through the camera systems. And Supercars of London. Now we have left Dubai, everything seems a lot more normal. This is what I expect the UAE to be like, or just a country in general, instead of every single thing, just one big opulent building after the next. It's actually really cool being out here, seeing all the different types of cars, the different types of work vehicles, the work vehicles in particular are extraordinarily different, and just how much heat you have to deal with. It's now closing in on quote unquote, winter time it is 40 degrees celsius what is that i mean that is so dang hot that's ridiculous and thankfully the air conditioning in the huracan is doing a pretty good job but as you can see there's all these towns being built up and up and up surrounding dubai with all this land and opportunity i'm curious how big dubai is gonna get before it stops look at that a reno duster in the middle of the desert That right there is a speed camera sign. If you're ever in the UAE, that is what they look like. It is so funny to see the difference in driving right when somebody notices that there is a speed camera. Everyone slams on the brakes and puts their hazards on. Look at that hospital. Oh my God. That is enormous. Guys, the landscape here is absolutely epic. Oh my God. having so much fun on this rally driving these cars in Dubai it's absolutely ridiculous trying to learn where speed cameras are learning about the environment learning about the people the culture this is just an absolute riot I'm also testing out does the go holy crap does the GoPro Hero 7 have decent audio quality or not let's find out <laughs> Speciale! Such a sick car, hello! Oh, I wish I had mine out here. Just to really see how it is, I think I'm gonna try partially vlogging on this GoPro Hero 7 to see what it's like. Hopefully the quality is not bad because this thing is so light, it's so versatile, does crazy slow motion. I honestly, I got the thing right after watching Casey Neistat's review on it. I love watching review videos no matter what, whether it's a car or an electronic or anything really. I wanna know somebody else's unbiased opinion on the object or thing, experience, could be traveling before I commit to it. So hopefully, this is filmed on a GoPro Hero 7 with Hero 7 audio, it's not bad. All right, so I'm like fully lost 
in the UAE, which uh, is fine, I guess. It's <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. The guy behind me in the uh, 488 has no idea where we are. I tried to ask him to help me out because he has a co-pilot and I don't. And he's like, oh, I'll follow you. And I was like, no, no, dude. I literally, literally have no idea where we're going. Also, my maps aren't connected. I've literally got a picture of the roads that I am trying to use uh, to figure out where the heck I'm supposed to go. Oh. That got real, real quick. While it may look like I am completely lost, I actually have figured out where I am. It's crazy. We're in the middle of some town and the juxtaposition between the buildings that are being built or not being built, I have no idea what stage of the process it is, which is all of the fantastic architecture. But now we are headed up to the mountain road. I forget what it's called. I can't pronounce it. I won't pronounce it because it'll be embarrassing for me and the road's name itself. But apparently it is absolutely epic. Well, it turns out I was wrong. I'm still entirely lost, but thankfully, after a while of panicking because Apple and Google Maps were not working here, so there was nothing I could do to figure it out. Apparently, Waze works, but after I downloaded Waze, then finally, somebody was here from the rally, and now we can follow them. That was stressful as hell. Well, the group decided to get some gas. Hopefully, we can rush up the hill fast enough so that we can hit that zip line because I don't want to miss that the world's fastest, longest, whatever, craziest zip line. Just filled up gas for the first time. I love learning about how gas stations work in different countries. Here, at least in this town anyways, you don't fill up your own gas. You just tell them how much you want. I said I wanted it full, and then boom, there you go. All right, well apparently this is about to be one of the craziest roads I've ever driven. I am so excited right now. I'm about to hop behind the driver's seat. We are in the UAE and we are about to send it up this enormous mountain road. Let's hit it. Speechless. I have never driven a road that has exceeded my expectations more in my entire life than that. I, I don't even know what to say. That was the most insane thing I've ever done. Two lanes sweeping up the mountain and I'm only halfway done and I've been going for at least 20 minutes up this thing. No traffic, no one there. Oh my God, was that the best road I have ever driven in my entire life, hands down. So I have actually rented this Huracan and it's got 47,000 or something around there kilometers. It's doing really well for that many and it begs the question, how many kilometers or miles can these Huracans actually last before they start having problems? Mine has 27,000 miles on it with a supercharger, a tune and an exhaust and it's absolutely been bulletproof. This has similar, it's completely stock and it feels honestly as good as new. The interior is pretty nice as well other than a couple of little damage points on the wheels. That's obviously happens often when you rent a car. It's pretty much new. Honestly, this is an epic rental car to take around Dubai. What an absolutely fantastic journey today has been so far. In fact, there is so much epic stuff going on. I have to break this into two videos. So the next video, get ready for this. Up there on the top of the mountain, that is the largest zip line in the world. And I'm going to race 1320 video. Yes, that's right, a human body drag race. Apparently it goes like 150 kilometers an hour and see which one of us can get to the bottom the fastest. What an epic day driving through Dubai, learning about the culture, seeing all of the awesome roads, getting lost, that was a little bit scary. Seeing all of the epic cars that have come out, I'm still loving that Urus. The fact that this 918 is parked off-road, the fact that I met a subscriber with a Bugatti and met all these new friends, it has just been an absolute blessing. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, smash that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. I look forward to seeing you next video.